Well, the CDC now recommends people wear face masks while going out, even if they feel healthy. This is a marked change from the advice given when the coronavirus pandemic began. Western Mass News reporter Andre Russo joins us live in Springfield, where that advice was put into practice by city officials this morning. Audrey. At their weekly coronavirus press briefing, many of the city officials had on some kind of face mask and many of them were homemade. The advice now is that you should have some sort of covering when going out, even something as simple as pulling a scarf or a bandana over your mouth and your nose like this. They say that it's not to prevent you from catching the virus, but rather to prevent you from spreading it if you're in the window of time when you have coronavirus, but you're not showing any symptoms. To slow the spread of COVID-19, the CDC now recommends that if you're going out in public to cover up your nose and mouth. The CEO of Bay State Health, while delivering an update to Springfield officials Monday, putting his money where his properly covered mouth is. I am wearing a mask that I made in my kitchen a couple of days ago. Because surgical masks and N95s are being donated, sent, and earmarked for healthcare workers and first responders, the CDC says others can cover up with a homemade mask or a bandana. Guidelines are going to change as we move through the pandemic, and that's just because it's new and we don't know a tremendous amount about it. Western Mass News spoke with microbiologist Erica Hamilton about the change in guidelines. She says the latest research about COVID-19 shows that the length of time between contracting the virus and actually showing symptoms is long enough that people can spread it before they even know they're sick. They're shedding a lot of virus at that time. If you're in that asymptomatic window, wearing a mask in public will help contain the droplets you might not even know are infectious. If you cough or you sneeze or you spit a little bit when you talk or something like that, it will be caught in the mask. Hamilton says the advice is still the same with respect to breathing COVID-19 in. You have to have an N95 mask that to prevent yourself from, from getting it. Which is why hospital officials say wearing a bandana or homemade mask shouldn't be a substitute for social distancing. This adds a little bit of a layer of protection, but the real big important message is in the major way that this infection spreads is through close personal contact. Now, coming up on Western Mass News at 6, we'll take a look at the curve over the last week here in Massachusetts. But for now, I'm reporting live here in Springfield, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.